Hi, my name is Brandon Richards. I'm a team rider for Caution, and I'm going to talk about a little trick for when I'm water starting over shallow reef or sandbar. Although this move isn't very exciting, it will save you from giving a small fortune to your local surfboard repairman. When you're getting in the water, the right thing to do is just wait out until you're in deeper water, where you're guaranteed not to nail one of your fin boxes on a reef or shallow sandbar. Typically, I'm really impatient, so I'll just cross my fingers and jump on my board, and ultimately end up dragging my fins over the reef and compromising one of my fin boxes. Okay, so the first step is to aim your board backwards with the fins pointed in the direction of a broad reach. While you're near the beach, steering the board is key, so keep in mind that the board pivots around the fins, and you can only change the position of the board with your back foot on the nose. Wind and waves will push the tail downwind, so you might have to adjust the position of the board by using the nose or the tail to get the board pointing in a broad reach. You want to make sure the bulk of your weight is on the nose so that you get the fins out of the air where they won't grab any water and try and round the board up into the wind. I would start with putting your back foot on the nose first and then your front foot somewhere between your front and back strap. Because of the limited surface area of the nose, the board will sink pretty quickly. So it's important for the kite to deliver power at the same time you begin transferring your weight to the board. As you start to move, you're trying to keep the board flat in the water, not on edge. And you're trying to keep the board heading at a broad reach with the fins out of the water. You can steer by moving your weight forward and back, and you can also use heel pressure to adjust the angle of the board to help you steer. Once you're in deeper water, can transition the board around. Begin by putting weight towards the back of the board. The fins begin to grab and you transition your weight and your feet into your normal riding stance. And then you ride away toe side. It may not come to you at the first stab, but like anything, with a little bit of patience and a lot of practice, it'll come. On a safety note, keep in mind that anything you do close to a beach increases your risk of injury. So just remember that safety and community beach access are more important than anything else, so always use caution.